Hi, welcome to this video on memory map of C program. In this video, I'm going to explain how the variables are stored in the RAM location. It could be stack memory, heap memory, or the global space. Okay, there we go. So the first program that runs when you turn on your computer is the BIOS, that is basic input output systems. So this is the code which runs as soon as you press the start button. And this is the small piece of code which actually loads your OS into the RAM location. So once OS boots up, you will be able to see all the icons on the desktop. You will be able to open the different tools or IDEs. Let's say for example, I want to compile a C code. So I am going to open a C compiler. So with the help of OS, I am going to open that C compiler and I write my C program. When I say compile and execute, that piece of code, for example, I have a small piece of code here in A and main. So when I compile this code and run this, it generates a .exe and .exe gets stored in the RAM location and it starts executing that particular code. Okay, now I have a variable here called as int a. So this is a global variable and this variable occupies the global space. Okay, and this will remain in the global space as long as this main program exists. Okay, once the main program ends, the variable gets cleared from the global space. Okay, so these are the global variables. So they occupy the global space. Coming to the heap memory, so in, inside the RAM you have a memory called as a heap memory, which is a free memory which is used for allocating the memory during the runtime okay, with the help of functions called malloc and calloc. So this particular memory is being used during the runtime. Then on top of that we have a stack memory. So the variables which are declared inside any function, okay, the variables which are created when you call any function, so those occupy a stack memory. Okay, for example, so once OS loads up, so here I have a function called as fun. Okay, so when I compile this code and execute this dot exe gets downloaded into the RAM. Okay, the variables, the global variables get stored in the global space. Okay, if you have any runtime variables, runtime variables get stored in the heap memory. So this particular variable, yeah, as you can see in the function fun. So when I call this function fun from the main program, so a variable int b. So this b variable gets stored in the stack memory. Okay. Next, coming to a malloc function. So when I call malloc ten, so I need ten bytes of memory here. So 10 bytes of memory, I get it from this heap memory. So this is the memory map of C program. Okay, all the local variables get stored in the stack memory, global variables stored in the global space, and the, the memory which is allocated during runtime gets stored in the heap memory. I hope you got my point. Thank you so much for watching this video.